Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled "Be Courageous." Be courageous, part one. Joshua chapter one verse nine says, "Have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go." Knowing his battles. He would have to fight in order to conquer the promised land. God told Joshua this, no less than three times. What is that? Be strong and of good courage. Be strong and of good courage. Any time you and I move forward, obstacles will block your path and my path. Count on it. It. Will come. It could be things. It could be health. It could be people. It could be project. It could be failure. It could be discouragement. It could even be opposition. H. G. Wells asks, "What on earth would a man do with himself if something did not stand in his way?" What did he mean? He simply mean this that adversity or obstacles. They are your friends. Even when it feels like your enemy, even every obstacle you face reveals your strength as well as your weaknesses. One more time, every obstacles you face reveals your strengths and weaknesses. It also shapes you and makes you wiser and more confident, depending on how you receive. Face it and deal with it. Poet Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, "What you do, you need courage. What you do, you need courage. Whatever course you decide upon, there is always someone to tell you that you are wrong. There are always difficulties." Arising that tempt you to believe your critics are right, to map out a course of action and follow it to an end requires some of the same courage that a soldier needs. Peace has its victories, but it takes brave men and women to win them all. See, any time, church, any time, brothers and sisters. You leave your comfort zone and step out in faith and follow God. You will be tested. You and I will be challenged, but you will also reach heights you thought were beyond you and go further than others who had greater talent, but settle for the state the status quo. You know, in new in the New Testament, Paul tells us this in two Corinthians four. Verses sixteen to seventeen, he said, "So do not give up. Our physical body is becoming older and weaker, but our spirit inside us is made new every day. We have small troubles for a while now, but they are helping us gain an eternal glory that is much greater than the troubles around you and I for a season only." Courage can be defined as simple, as simply this: not giving up. One more time: not giving up. That's courage. You will remember this. Don't give up. Press on. Hold on. We will go through this difficult, difficult season of our life of COVID pandemic together. You and I can be a victor. Choose it for yourself to be a victor. Amen. So the point here is this: be courageous, and you can go through. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Father, bless us with a great day. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Be courageous. God bless.